What's up guys, this is your boy Medify, I hope you're having a good day. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you a very simple Fortnite thumbnail tutorial. This is going to be a beginner's guide, so it's going to be pretty simple. I also want to mention, I did change my supporter creator code to Medify, so if you want to go to the item shop, you don't really have to, but if you want to support me, go ahead. So in order to start this tutorial guys, you will need a few things. First things first, you will need a computer. And the next thing you will need guys is Photoshop on your computer. If you want to get this, there's literally a thousand methods on YouTube how to get it for free. I will link a legit and safe video down below that will help you download this. And finally, to make this easy for you guys, I will have my thumbnail pack in the description so make sure you press on the link it will take you to this website right here and from here all you want to do is press download once you have it downloaded you want to open up photoshop you might not be on the screen so what you have to do is go to file on the top left press down open and now you have to search for the pack so mine's on my desktop and it is right here i'm gonna just press that and press open and as you can see my layers are on the bottom right so that's how you know if the pack opened correctly once you've done that guys all you have to do is minimize the app because we're not going to use this right now next up you want to open up fortnite and now this part is all up to your choice because you're going to choose a skin that you want for your thumbnail so i'm I'm just gonna choose a John Wick. I don't know, it looks pretty cool. Once you choose your skin, guys, you wanna come down here to the game mode and make sure you select playground. You wanna make sure it's on don't fill and then you wanna press on match option. Now, this part comes down all to you because it depends if you want your thumbnail background to be during the daytime or during the nighttime. If you wanna choose the daytime, I recommend 6 a.m. because the lighting is really great and the sun is not directly above your head. All right, so we just loaded in. So now what you wanna do is pick your spot. But first things first, go to Pleasant Park. You guys will see why. So what you wanna do is come down to Pleasant Park and now from here, you wanna search the weapon of your choice that you want in your thumbnail cool thing about pleasant park this vending machine always has the barret and that's what i mostly use for my thumbnails now that you have your weapon guys you want to come to this spot on the map it is in between pleasant loot lake and neo tilted and once you're here guys make sure you are facing the sun and you want to build this like little platform so what i like to do is put three walls just like this and then i put floors on the bottom so it's like a little stage area so now you want to face the sun this is why i recommend 6 a.m because as you can see the sun is not directly above you it is kind of on an angle it looks pretty nice now this part is the posing part so you want to do a few poses just so you don't have to come back and do this all over again so this is gonna be my first pose right here he has the gun to his side the second pose is gonna be him aiming in looking that way it doesn't really matter you have to look at the sun and then the next two poses i'm kind of like gonna run and face the sun so i did that on the left now i'm gonna do this on the right just like this guys i'm gonna run and like face to the sun so once you take your poses guys you want to leave playground now you want to go to career and go to replays it's going to be the first one on the top so you want to select it and press play and press confirm so the replay has started i'm gonna put this to gameplay and then instead of waiting this out i'm just gonna pause it and kind of like like skip to the part all right so this is the part where i start posing so what you want to do go to your video settings make sure you turn off fps because if you don't turn it off as you can see it's kind of showing right there so it's going to be kind of annoying during your screenshot so it's still on the lowest settings i'm just going to turn off fps and motion blur and press apply and from here you want to go to your camera angle and press on drone free so now i can like adjust where i want my screenshot to be taken from so i'm going to be in front of my character if you're on pc you want to use your scrolling wheel to like zoom in all the way so the focus length as you can see goes to 200 max if you're using a controller on pc you have to press r2 to go in all the way now guys i am in front of my character i have my focus set to 200 now what you want to do is lower the speed of your clip just so you can take your screenshot remember those poses we took so this is one of the poses i'm not going to use this because it looks pretty ugly all right so i found my pose so i'm gonna just pause it right here as you can see this looks pretty simple but looks nice and now you want to put everything to epic and you remember guys we still have our focus length to 200 so it's completely zoomed in next you want to come down to the bottom left you want to make your hud invisible so you have nothing in your screenshot you kind of want to like angle the guy and then at this point you want to take your screenshot and now what you want to do is find a place on the map where you want to take your background screenshot so this is the location on the map i'm gonna choose so what you want to do once again is go back to your video settings put it on epic hit apply you want to come back to the bottom left and make sure you have your hud invisible and now like i said try to have the sun in one of the corners so i'm gonna have it on the top right corner just like that that looked like a really great spot so what i'm gonna do is take another screenshot once you have your two screenshot guys you could close out of fortnite so i'm gonna close out right now this is the one with the john wick and then this one right here was with the background next you want to come back to photoshop if you remember we minimized it in the beginning so you just want to open it up again if you accidentally close out don't worry you just want to come back to file open and then you want to open up the thumbnail pack again now we're on photoshop guys this might look really confusing to most of you but don't worry so on the bottom right are the layers that i had in my pack if you press on this like little arrow thing right here on each of them it opens up like the folder now what you want to go to your files you want to press place link and then you want to locate the screenshots that you took my screenshots are right here so i'm gonna open up background one first once you press on it will bring it to photoshop just like this so make sure the corners are aligned to like that little transparent background avoid having it like this as you can see i have some space left over on the top and the left side make sure it's completely covered and once you do have that you want to press this check icon what i like to do to be honest is press Control t it will bring up these margins again and what i like to do make the image a little bit bigger just like this and then come to one of the corners it doesn't really matter and then i like to give it a slight little tilt just like that and if you can see the image is kind of off the border i just drag it back into place just like that with the sun showing you want to come to the layers and make sure your image or the background image is a 
below everything else. So you just hold on to it and just come down to the bottom and drag and drop. Next up, you want to come back to the image on the bottom right. You have to press on it just like that. You'll see like the little gray highlight on it. You want to come up to the top. You're going to press on filter. You're going to come down to blur, add Gaussian blur. Make sure you have the preview checked. And what I like to do is keep it on 1.5 just like that. You want to press OK. Next up, you want to come up to file, press place once again. And now you want to find the character screenshot that you just took. So this is the John Wick. Now you want to come back down, make sure the John Wick thing is selected. Then you want to come to these tools right here. You want to select the magnifying glass. And then if you left click, you can zoom in. And then you want to come to the tools right here. You want to choose the pen tool. What this allows us to do is that you could cut out the John Wick. So and make sure you're like kind of off the image. So I'm going to be starting from right here. You want to left click. And then what you want to do is just start outlining the John Wick. You should try to take your time with this because, you know, this is like the most important part. Also, if you kind of like mess up, like for example, you accidentally press right here. You want to press control Z to come back to the last step. So yeah, now you just want to do is just cut out the John Wick. I'm going to be quick with this and do like a little time lapse. All right, guys, so I finally cut around the John Wick. I'm on the last step. So once you reach to the very end, you want to just come to the very first one that you started with and connect it just like that. And once you connected it, you want to press right on your mouse. You want to come up here and press make selection. And this doesn't really matter. You just want to press OK. And make sure you have the John Wick layer selected. When it comes to the tool things again, you want to press on this rectangle tool. You want to right click again on the image and press layer via copy. And now, as you can see, you have two John Wick images. Come back to the original one. I just press delete. Once again, you want to have your layer selected. Press control. Control T. Now you can kind of like resize him how you want to. So, so once you size them up, like I said, once again, give your image a little bit of a tilt. I don't know why it brings so much, like it makes the thumbnail so much better. You want to make sure you leave some space and you just want to press the check mark. Now we're going to add the effects guys. So you want to come to the bottom, right? You want to press on the extra overlay folder. You want to open up the folder by pressing that arrow thing. Or what I like to add is the border around the thumbnail. I don't know. It looks pretty cool. So we're going to select that. So in order to select it, you want to make sure that box is checked with the eye. So next up, you want to go to the first folder, which is CCs. And now you have a bunch of choices i think you have 20 choices so i'm just gonna have number eight open i don't know it looks kind of vibrant it has like that little chill warm looking thing to it you can see the difference by unchecking it as you can see it is kind of bright by pressing it it makes it a little bit warm so like all the extra glossy effect goes away and now you want to come back to the john wick layer you want to right click and press on blend options. It will pop up this little box right here. So what I like to add to the thumbnail is inner shadow. So you wanna select the box. Remember how I told you guys to pick the sun either on the right or left. So the sun is on the right. So now we're gonna choose the angle. If you make this right on the top, it will have the sun right on the top. If you choose the right, it's gonna be on the right. So we're gonna choose this because the sun is on our right. Make sure the blend mode is on normal. The color is on white. The distance and size is on five, five. And then what I like to add is inner glow. So I'm gonna press inner glow or check the box. For this, the blend is gonna be normal. Normal. the opacity i like to keep it on 60 not all the way because it's gonna look really weird for the color instead of white i'm gonna kind of come down to like the grayish area just like that so it looks like kind of 3d the size of it i keep it a four or five the range is gonna be 50 and instead of just saying it you guys can just look at it right here but that's pretty much all to it like you don't have to do much you can play around with the color corrections and the effects once you're done editing your thumbnail and you like it so i really like this right now for like a brushed thumbnail i'm gonna come to the top right press on file press save as i'm gonna save it to my desktop and for save as type you want to come down to jpeg and you want to press save and then it's going to bring up this little box guys for youtube unfortunately it has to be on 2.0 so come to this little bar and make sure it's on 2.0 just like that that's basically the size of the thumbnail if you go above 2.0 it won't let you put the thumbnail on the video press ok and there you have it guys this is the thumbnail i know it looks pretty shitty this is actually really bad like i don't i'm not a fan of this everything you're going to need for this is going to be down below in the description like the media file pack if you need any help make sure you dm me on twitter i'm literally active on it 24 7 i'll report back ASAP. And that's pretty much it for the video, guys. This is your boy Metify. Peace out.